See it, Cliff. Come on. Can't start dancing. Get into it. Well, welcome back. Episode four, weekly recap series. I'm here, Sharky. I'm Jess. And you're with us, Sharky's Paradise. If you haven't yet, make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you like and share this uh, YouTube channel. If you see any segments that you like, please help promote those as well. Make sure you turn the little notification bell on. I think it's like right here. Or here. Or here. You get the idea. This week we had lots of fun, doing lots of tattoos and procedures as usual. I got to work on a clock and rose sleeve, the beginning of a sleeve. The gentleman had some existing tattoo work and we're expanding it for really his kids. And we had the three pocket watches that we chose to put in there and then we filled it up with some roses and used some negative space to work through our filler and make it all tied together. Black and gray style. I love doing these meaningful pieces, you know, I'm a family man myself so being able to, you know, Know, help others portray their love for their family is pretty sweet and awesome for me. There'll be more to come on this soon, but I'm sure you're going to be able to see that in progress. Hey chicos, ¿qué tal? Soy Alex, trabajo en Sharky's Paradise y esta es nuestra semana de tatuajes. Colombia, papá. Hey, this is Alex. I work at Sharky's Paradise and this is my weekly recap. This week I work on Lindsay's um, forearm. It was amazing design. She said, hey, I want this tattoo. I want these flowers and I want kind of like this face and this profile. So she said, I don't really know what I want. So make something up. <laughs> And I was obviously like super nervous, but I kind of like got a little bit of a design. And then we work it together. We put the flowers around her face, covering her eyes, and she just loved it. The flowers are two bird flowers for her twins and the bird flower for her husband. And yes, it turned out really nice, very nice colors. I love the little details on that. The lips are great. It was amazing. Lindsay is amazing. I love you, Lindsay. Next one is Abby. Sunflower and fairies. So this is Abby. Hi. We are going to do this. We did kind of like a fillers on her arms. She had a lot of stick and poke tattoos. And she say, Alex, I know you're amazing. She believed in me. And I say, okay, let's do it. Tell me how you're feeling. I am feeling good. Are you excited about the tattoo? Yes. I'm very excited. We picked the best flowers, but it's like really cool flowers. It's just like unique flowers. Um, and then I had an idea of putting like fairies on top. They're super cute, tiny. It's a little Ooh. weird flower. Look at this cute fairy. <laughs> I still need to like finish her cover up. We did like a whole cover up, but it's amazing. We end up doing her fingers. Uh, finish her whole sleeve, do like a huge flower here, and everything is fine line, gray wash, little details which I love. It turned out pretty nice. So how are you feeling today? Really good. Yes. Yeah. Are you excited for your tattoos? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, this is Santi, also known as Inked by Bonti on Instagram. I'm really excited to share with you what I had going this week. Got a lot of really cool different tattoos, a couple different things that really show my fundamental skills as well as some more advanced things that I can do. 
The first thing that I got to work on this week was finishing up a shoulder cap that piece that we had started. I had a client come in. She had a tattoo from someone else that she started a few years ago, really wanted to get it fixed up and finished. And so it started as some very line work pieces of some different flowers from Arizona, from Colorado, from different places she's been. So we were able to reline everything, add some color into it, as well as add some new pieces. There's some ferns kind of in her arm now that we were able to add in and kind of make it a whole piece together. She was super excited to finish that after our first session. We had been there till about midnight and we were both called it because she had worked pretty early in the morning. So finally being able to see that all finished up was really awesome and she was super excited. I'm sure she'll be back for more. I also got to do a fox this week. I had a girl reach out to me. She actually was referred to our shop from one of my friends that used to kind of work with us just a bit, but she originally came in looking to get a tattoo fixed up. She did get a little nervous about that. It was gonna go on her sternum, but we ended up not fixing that tattoo that day and instead adding a fox onto her arm. She has been really wanting a fox forever. So we were able to find something that was a little bit different, a little bit more unique, and just do some black work on it. She didn't really want to do any color, which was totally cool because then it kind of gave it a little bit of a uniqueness to it. But it was something really awesome. I was happy we were able to still give her a tattoo, even though we weren't able to do the original thing that we had planned. I had a couple come in. They were wanting to do some tattoos. One of the tattoos was she wanted to do the number 333, her angel number, as well as with some little cherubs. So we kind of planned that out a little bit differently. We made some really nice big threes outlines right behind the angel or the cherubs. Then from there, we were able to do some really fine line work on it. Because, I mean, if it needs seven hours, I'll sit for seven hours, yeah. but... Sometimes, you know, that just happens. And like, especially when you're first starting out, it takes a little time to like, like I, something like this would have taken me all day. Yeah, I oh, was, I believe When I first it. started, but now it's like, it's, it's like work. second nature, you know? And that's all just with practice and time. She was super happy with it. I was really happy with how it came out. It was really dainty, really delicate, and it really encompassed what she was trying to achieve with it. Yeah, I love your tattoos. They're really cool. Then on her boyfriend, we were able to do a shark. He really wanted this really big shark with a really long tail on it. No, don't record this. Get out of here. Get out of here. No one breathe. Ooh, that is gonna feel so good. Why do I always pick tattoos that hurt? Literally always. So he placed it right on his ribs, did some line work on it, and did very light shading on it. It came out super awesome. I was super happy with how that piece came out. I think I may have found my new dog groomer through him. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, We Are One Tattoo. This is my weekly recap. Let's go ahead and get into it. 11-11 on the neck. You know, it's just basically like a clock. Make a wish. I wish I was tattooing. So another cool piece that I did was a shamrock on the leg. It was like a redo of a tattoo that he had done probably even before I was born. On my boy Eddie, he's a pretty great dude, a returning client. He's the one who got the ace of spades for his son a couple weeks ago. You might remember that one. That was pretty cool. Another great piece that I did this week was a piece that was in a different language. I believe it was either in Spanish or Portuguese, something like that. As you can tell, I don't speak that language. So with tattoos like that, it's a little bit more complicated. And we always suggest that the client does their own research just because you can't expect me to learn a whole language just to do that tattoo. But I love doing that butterfly. That was something completely understandable to everybody. And I'd love to do more pieces like that in the future. Looks like you already got some ink. Look, it's almost over. Look, look, look. Here we go. We gotta dab those edges so it doesn't peel up. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back. It's Eric over Sharky's Paradise. Follow me on Instagram at Erock Artwork. We did a couple fun pieces this week. 
One of the pieces that we did this week was a cover-up piece on a girl's arm. She had a fairly low pain tolerance, and so didn't go great. We got about 15 minutes into the session and she tapped out on me. She's got about 30 hours worth of work, needs covered up on her arm. We were supposed to go in and do a floral pattern, uh, along with starting in on getting some line work down to restructure the new design on top of her hand. But yeah, we're gonna reschedule that girl into smaller increment sessions, maybe one flower at a time, we'll a little hour session and we'll still get it done for her. Hey guys, it's Chelsea again from Sharky's Paradise. Last week I got to do a couple of matching tattoos on some best friends. They got a very simple outline of a rose and an outline of three hearts underneath it. Real simple, just line work. They've been talking about getting a matching tattoo for a while, so they were happy. I got to do a really fun anime, my first anime type tattoo, Studio Ghibli with the little characters kind of lined on top of each other. Um, that was a walk-in, the girl was great. I loved her personality, she was fun to work with, and it was exciting to do something a little bit different than just simple line work. Okay, there it is. What's up guys? <laughs> This is Stephanie the Sharky's Paradise. Gold. <laughs> Perfect. Gold. Perfect. I crack myself up, Absolute man. Absolutely. I gold. really do. Now do a real intro? Real intro. Okay. What's up, guys? This is Devin of Sharky's Paradise, also known as Slater Inks on Instagram. Thanks for tuning in. Here's some of my stuff. Right off the bat, this week we did Caitlin's daddy-o tattoo for her dear father. Dad's not been doing too well, so she decided to get a little memorial tattoo for him. She really likes the traditional style, so we decided to do a traditional swallow with the banner wrapping around the front in front of a heart. I really enjoy doing meaningful tattoos for people like that. Sentimental tattoos are nice every once in a while. client named Liam. Liam is a super, super cool dude. He came in with uh, one of our other friends to get a nine-tailed fox tattoo on his arm. I have no idea what TV show it's from and I'm not even gonna pretend that I do. But it was a fun tattoo. Ah! What? It's a dangerous tattoo artist in the wild. I have somehow become the wing expert. I've done like seven birds. So every time a little wing tattoo comes in, it's always put on my plate. So this kid came in, he wanted some wings on his back. It was a nice little tattoo. I actually do a lot of wings on backs. How you feeling? Pretty good. About halfway there. Yeah. <laughs> so it's something that I get to see fairly often and it comes out smooth every time. The lady with the wings. Yeah, I the, know you're the, the wing lot, lady. I do a lot of birds. What can I say? <laughs> I'm the wing lady. I'm the wing lady. <laughs> Sponsor me. Nah, hello guys, my name's Hector. Uh, this week, Sharky's Paradise, we definitely had a lot of cool stuff coming in and out of the shop. A couple designs I did that were fun and all. And, uh, you know, glad you guys have been watching our weekly recaps. They've been definitely awesome. So this week, I did a tattoo for a rapper that passed away, Young Dolph, on my homeboy's front shin. It was really fun doing, just because, you know, it was a memorial piece for a rapper that passed away. You know, rest in peace, Young Dolph, all day. But no, it was just a fun piece, you know, that was one of his favorite rappers. And so it was nice to give him, like, you know, a piece to last forever. So that was a fun one. He's struggling, he's struggling. Oh, and he hits the bone, bro. <laughs> had the opportunity to do a whore themed tattoo and the uh, thing that made it a little bit more fun about this tattoo was the fact that I would always look on the internet for this tattoo and it was always the same 2D image of ghost face and a knife. So for this project I rewatched the first scream and I screenshotted a image of his face when he's up to the glass and then I used that as my reference photo for the knife. How do you feel? This is your first tattoo. You're good. <laughs> well, let's see the marks on the hand here. <laughs> so when she goes out there and people are like I've seen that knife before they haven't because it's original so I think that was pretty cool and she's definitely coming back to get more she definitely wanted to get a Michael Myers tattoo as well so I think it's gonna be pretty cool to do this little horror theme sleeve for her 
And I also did some finger tattoos on a returning client of mine. She's got a lot of anime pieces on her leg, but this time she just wanted to go for a little simple. And this time it was just some zodiac symbols on her finger, representing her and her mother and her father. So I thought that was really neat. Go, go, go. Take him up and take him to the bush. He's just trying to get hot or I trying to warm up. Go. Ah! <laughs> just leave him alone. I don't want him to get run over. That's why I was trying to run this way. Okay, there you go. There you go, Mr. Toad. One of the things that we love about the culture here in Longmont is there's a lot of hot rod enthusiasts, lots of people proud of their vehicles, and they get out and they organize some cruise nights. And this particular group, shout out 303 Outlaws, they help to organize a pretty regular cruise night that happens on Saturdays. It's pretty cool. People go up there and park, and then people go out and cruise and do their thing on Main. Okay, let's get, you want to check this one out? Yeah. Let's check it out. This is this is the kids' favorite right here. We see it everywhere. <laughs> oh, is it? it? What's your favorite part? All of it. All of it? All yeah, my man. All right. I've got several vehicles that I like to imagine myself cruising. I got a 67 Cadillac in pieces. I got a 71 Volkswagen Beetle not running. I've got a bus that we just went and picked up. I got the bullet van, ugly as sin. Nobody wants to drive a ride in that. And um, got my Harley, which uh, nobody's allowed to ride on either. So, just me. <laughs> <laughs> just mama. Oh, yeah. I, I can pop a wheelie, but I can't ride on them for a really long time. <laughs> you? Yeah. Too old for that. <laughs> Dad had the kids on his shoulder and took them for a walk around the park. Long time client here, Mason. Say what's oh, up. God, what's up? <laughs> where do you want to go? Uh, Sharky's, man. That's, That's where we're right. That's, That's right. That's fing right. <laughs> we happen to run into Santi and her boyfriend, Zane. So here in Longmont, we like to do cruise nights. They do smaller ones at the Sonic here. I ran into the Sharky family, didn't know I was gonna see them, and we were able to all hang out and kind of cruise around for a bit on Main Street. It's a lot of fun being able to do that, especially in summer because everyone just has really good energy. It's really nice to see all the different cars as well as get to ride around in some of them. And it was lots of fun, you know, it's, we, we go out, do a little cruise and enjoy everybody else's vehicles and lo and behold, we run into people that we know. This particular cruise night that we have coming up next, we'll hopefully we'll be able to have our bus up and running and be able to enjoy that as a group. had done some piercings as always. Left ear, you did some really cool stuff there. Lots of ear piercings. You want a hand No, it's really, really fast. I promise it don't hurt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these clamps on your ear and this clamp's just gonna hold your ear in place and you'll just look straight forward, okay? And if you need a sucker in between, you totally can. Okay, take a deep breath in and breathe out. Good job. That looks gorgeous. Okay, now you take another deep breath in and breathe out. Good job. This might have been the toughest little girl I've had in a long time. All right, guys, we got our first timer. Woo! Go ahead and ring that bell. Ring the bell. Good job. I did a fun septum piercing. I had a couple of friends come in that got a navel and a tongue piercing. That was really fun. It's always fun to see groups of friends come in and instead of going out drinking or doing something crazy, they come in and get a really cool piercing. Always doing permanent makeup. <laughs> I love doing brows. I feel like I've really clicked just trying some new cartridges that FYT has sent me. They have a new line out there. It's called the Permanent Makeup Lush Line. 
and their cartridges are super fire. They work amazing. They also have some Arizona Doctor Brow cartridges. Those are really, really good too. Let's see, I don't have any designs up for grabs, but if you come to me some with some like really cool flowers or jewels or some really neat creatures that I'm wanting to do, I would love to tattoo some new designs that are really pretty, maybe even look a little glittery. All right, Jess. Yeah. First thoughts to pop into your mind, go. Um, well, right now I'm paying for the Villain Arts Tattoo Convention. <laughs> Come see us there, July 8th, 9th, and 10th. What is this you're working on here? Um, a skull with the rubs. I was able to make a super custom tattoo for a first timer. He didn't quite know what he wanted to do. He knew he wanted a skull and a rose with some barbed wire in it. Originally we had one plan, but with how small he wanted to go with it, it'd be really hard to get that detail. Doing tattoos that have really, really detailed pieces in them, really small can get really hard because it can get a little bit messy and you kind of lose that definition of what you're trying to do. So we were able to change it up, keep all the elements in there, put it right on his forearm. We were able to add just a pop of color in there and it came out super, super cool I'm really excited for that tattoo he is definitely gonna be a returning client he's already planned out a bunch of other tattoos so I'm really excited to have him back um, and I'm really happy with how that tattoo came out for him butterflies have become a really popular tattoo recently I have been able to do quite a few different ones I had a client come in looking to do a butterfly that was half butterfly half floral definitely switch it up just a bit for her we we're able to make that really unique for herself added some very light shading into it in the flowers and in the butterfly itself really made it her own piece and she was super happy with it oh my god that is such good video eric that was really good i also was able to add a small little heart right here on her shoulder nice and dainty for her as well as a floral ankle band on her so we we're able to kind of match some flowers to her butterfly as well and we were able to make sure that it was really nicely shaded it all connected and had a little bit of a variation to it in the front so that way it had some asymmetrical pieces to it it was super awesome i'm super excited for her can't wait to do some more stuff for her all right, I also had a client stop in this week. He is one of my returning clients. Something I did as an apprentice back in our old shop was a nice big Playboy bunny with the words around it, live fast, eat ass. He really wanted it. I had to make sure he wanted it when we did it, but he absolutely loves it. It's his favorite tattoo. Right next to it, we were able to add some of my flash of a girl kind of like holding up her butt, a little little moody picture, but we were able to make it look thermal. Um, so it has the different levels of heat color in it. He's a really cool client. Him and his friends always come in in at least a group of five, and we definitely have to knock out all their tattoos for them because they're just such loyal clients and they're always there for us. So it's super exciting to see that stuff come back into the shop. You have a few different designs up for grabs. I have one of a kind of scary looking bunny, but he's holding a little flower that's dead and it says, don't touch me, I don't want to feel underneath it. So if that one's for you, definitely hit me up. I also have a little ghost with a crown and he's just chilling. He's got his sunglasses on, pretty cool. So that's definitely something I want to put on someone as well, if anyone really likes those ones. And I look forward to doing them. How do you feel? Before I had become uh, an apprentice here at Sharky's Paradise, I had uh, this girl, Samantha, contact me and wanting to get a tattoo. And I told her that she needed to wait a little bit for me to finish my apprenticeship and everything, and just to get back on skin. And uh, she waited full <laughs> four months. It took me to get back onto skin, and I cannot be more thankful for that. It's definitely that type of love and support from a client that just, you know, keeps me going. You know, I love that so much. I definitely got to, you know, give her something that she definitely loved, and that was a floral piece on her own. Arm and we got the line work done. We're still gonna be doing the color soon and it's just incredible the fact that she waited for so long and the fact that she brought a friend because that was the next tattoo that uh, I did that week. I did a sunflower piece on her friend's chest and it had six butterflies representing her six nephews, each one having a different color and it was just line work for now. Soon we'll get those colors in and it'll definitely make it pop, which I can't uh, wait to do. This week, I'll have some designs up and available. I'm an anime artist, so I have a lot of anime designs right now. I have a Goonie from Demon Slayer. I have a couple Dragon Ball Z designs. I have up for grabs, even some Naruto ones. You know, I'll let you guys know as soon as possible when I'll be posting those. So, you know, definitely look out for that. We worked in a restaurant together, and he barely told me this now. 
Oh my bro, I could have served you a fucking wrap with Wait, tomatoes in it, and then just that? and then him just died, and I would have been like the murderer to Christian. I could have died. <laughs> you know, another one that I did, really fun weekend piece, melting smiley face. I mean, who doesn't love it? It's hot out here. I feel like I'm melting half the time in the shop being in those front windows. But we love seeing you guys. Go ahead and bring in your friends. Get matching tattoos. Have a great summer and just have those memories. As always, I have plenty of designs up for grabs. I'll have to be honest, I'm not the best at posting them, but if you go ahead and message me on Instagram, I could send you sheets and sheets and pages. I have at least 70 available designs right now. So if you walk into the shop or anything, we always got something for you. Um, one of the big ones that I'm looking forward to doing is a neo-traditional bear holding like a lantern, but instead of like a traditional lantern with like a candlelight or anything like that, it's gonna have glowing crystals inside, bright colors, as well as some natural colors as well. So it'll be really poppy and a lot of detail. It'll be great. So Sydney is a great client too. Everybody is. And she got her first tattoo for her birthday. It was like simple lettering on her forearm. And then a couple months after she came back and said, hey, I want this little like vein with leaves and like a butterflies. And I was like, great. Once she came over to the shop, we stencil up everything and it ended up being a whole half sleeve, which is amazing. She wanted to have some little letters on each wing of the butterflies and just black and gray line work, fine lines, little details. She loved it, absolutely loved it. It was great. I love that one. So I have two designs for grabs. There is one with skulls and a crown of flowers, beautiful one. We can do color on it or just black and gray and fine line. That's what I love too. And the other one is like um, leaves that you can put like this. Pretty much just leaves, line work, colors, and the leaves are gonna have some textures. It's gonna be super pretty. If you bring that maybe here, or maybe here, or maybe here, anywhere, maybe here, anywhere. Come and grab them. How's your Friday going? Uh, solid, as expected. Overwhelmed, a whole bunch of shit going on, and never enough time. I also worked on a returning client on a Virgin Mary on her back. It's a relatively large piece. We did some filigree work around the edges and mainly what we were working on completing is the central portion of the, of the back design today uh, or that particular day. It's challenging sometimes working on those custom designs for people on a larger scale. Just you never really know how people are going to be able to handle it and sometimes time factors play into it and so this particular client was traveling to us to come meet us and so we've had to break apart our sessions a little bit and be very methodical about how we're putting things together. Hopefully we'll be able to get back together soon and be able to finish this up. But for now we made some progress and I'm always happy with that. I also did a skull with a cobra and some roses in it. That was on my dad. We got the line work done in the first session and then we were able to complete it with the color and stuff. And it was my first like bigger old school type tattoo. And I think it turned out great. He likes it, um, it was fun. I got to do a lovely 444 tattoo. I see a lot of those. She loves the Wendy's 444, so we decided to make it into a tattoo. Not actually. She wanted angel numbers. She went through a whole thing. She's trying to get better, and I think that's awesome. So the 444 is really symbolizing that for her, and she's moving forward in life away from previous struggles. So it was actually a really fun tattoo to do it. The, the girl was very sweet. I have uh, two designs currently up for grabs. I have a snake crawling through the bushes. Uh, he's crawling around some, some roses. It's a corn snake, I think, I'm pretty sure. And I have a tarot card. It's a lady holding a lion. She's this lady, she's got mauled by a lion. It's very, it's a cool tattoo, so. Get the tattoo. Another tattoo that I did this week that was fun was on a coworker of mine. We like tattoo each other in the shop a lot, so. Oh, you know, doing this super easy tattoo. 
for the next 12 hours. A co-worker of mine had tattooed herself before she started here. She did a wonderful job on her leg uh, creating these eyes. And so they were fairly dark, so we had to cover them up. So to pull the focal point, we went above the tattoo and did a mandala with octopus tentacles and tentacles coming out of a new set of eyes over top of the other one. Uh, the piece orients well, and I think it's a pretty good cover up on it overall. Happy on Eric. Lovely. Yeah? Yeah, I love this. Yeah. It's fantastic. Such a good day. Good morning. We're waking up for our day. Got to film our first day of the intros. Shout out Longmont Public Media. See you later. Our team kind of came up with the concept of maybe we can use a car or a house or something that they're all like hanging out and partying in, but it's obviously CGI. <laughs> so we have my old broke down, super awesome, badass blazer sitting out back. And so we economically put everybody inside the blazer. Had a really good time with the group, man. We got into the blazer, kind of did a 70s show style intro. Everyone's rocking out, heavy metal, Metallica's playing. I'd have to say it was a little bit challenging. You know, we finally got everybody out there, and by the time we did that, I think we had like five people sitting there sweating, punching each other, <laughs> yelling at each other. We did it in the middle of the summer in a car that doesn't necessarily run, so it's just been sitting there in the sun, baking, waiting for us to get in. It was hot as hell. <laughs> yeah, the blazer, it's hot. That shit was hot. I did not was supposed to cuss, but it was hot, okay? <laughs> you know, fighting over the driver's wheel, who's gonna drive the car, of course it's gonna be Sharky. I'm driving, it's my car. There you go. <laughs> We gotta shake the vehicle while being on top of it, acting like we were surfing. You have eight people, nine people, in a car that's not built for nine people, and we're all wearing black and it's hot out, and we're all sweaty so it smelled bad. More people than there were seats. It was a lot of fun being that close to everyone. I don't think any of us ever want to be that close again. It was a nice kind of like little bonding moment. But no, it was a lot of fun, so cool. And it really fits all of our personalities and then our shop personality as a whole. Yeah! <laughs> but it was actually kind of fun, I will admit. But. I want to do it again. <laughs> we all kind of had a good time, so I don't know what the f else to say about that, Will. <laughs> I think that's good. The video looks way more cooler than the actual experience. It was pretty cool, but. <laughs> yeah, shout out Will, 88 Visuals. If you don't know, now you know. Also, I want to send a special shout out to my man, Rich. He's been killing it with his video edits. So if you guys like this stuff and you want to see us continue, please help us to grow this channel. Help us get likes on this channel, get shares and subscribers. There's plenty of opportunities and ways that you can do that. If people have comments or if they want to be able to make suggestions, please feel free to, to, to send us whatever messages you'd like uh, no hate mail well maybe a little hate mail I don't really care but anyway regardless please continue to support us thank you so much for the time that that you guys have taken to be here thanks for watching guys thanks to all my clients thanks to everybody who supported us hope you all enjoyed the video looking forward to see plenty of new faces and old faces at the shop i definitely look forward to meeting some of you as well as doing some more tattoos check out my instagram and everybody else in the shop got some bookings and availables open right now uh, over the next month well, give us a call thank you just waiting for you to cut <laughs>